Hi guys, so today what I'm going to do is uh, I want to get all of the stuff out of the bilge pump. It isn't really going well, so what I'm going to do is buy some new pumps. I need to buy one for the gas locker, because if you remember in the last video that I'd done, um, when I was doing the gas locker, I got all the water out of it, but it's actually filled up again and it's not draining again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bilge pump and I'm going to actually fit that onto the front. And I'm going to get a bilge pump in here because it's not actually... The bilge pump that, that we've got is actually it's kind of broke now so i've got it set up here it does kind of still work and it still sucks up but it's not sucking it all up so i'm gonna go get that changed but for now what i've done is i remember a vlog when i first went to go start thinking about having a boat i was watching vlogs and i think i was watching cruising the cut and i'm pretty sure that he used some nappies to get them out so i'm gonna do that i'm pretty sure it was but sorry if i got that wrong and whoever it was it's a good idea because they do absorb stuff so i'm gonna use these and try and soak up everything now So that's the broken bilge. When I mean broke, it's, uh, it isn't sucking up as good as it used to. I have tried to clean it through. It's just not, yeah, it's not working that well. So I'm gonna go get it changed. I mean, to be fair, using these, I think it's a very good idea, but if anybody else has got any other ideas that is probably easier for this, then please drop down a comment below. It'll save me using the nappies. Actually, they're not very good for the environment either. I, mean, I guess if you've got the time, a sponge and a bucket yeah. and safe disposal is probably going to be the most environmentally friendly way. And that's reusable as well. Yeah, that's it. Pretty happy though, because this side's all pretty dry. So, I think my plan is probably going to be to leave these in here and to soak them up and then I'll take them out and I will get down here with like a cloth and some water, get it clean and then I'm going to uh, sand it down and get it actually painted because I do want to get the back of this room done out very soon. Um, I've got a lot of plans for the boat. <laughs> I think that's enough. Mm. Open down a little bit. Nappies are very good for absorbing things. Does it look like there's, there's enough down? Yeah. Yeah. So drop a comment below, how do you get and keep your bilge dry? So the last video you saw me do the gas locker and getting the water out of the gas locker. I'm just going to check on that today and see what's happened because I have gone for a little cruise around going to try and get some things and yeah as you can see there is still water back in there so I think my plan's probably going to be to uh, actually get a fitted um, bilge pump inside of there which will probably be a lot easier so I'm gonna go to a place probably at the end of this week and go and start getting things to sort this boat out. So, like I say, the, uh, there is little like holes on the side of the boat here. We've got these little holes here which that goes into there and um, with that, they, it's supposed to come out but it doesn't actually. So, I'm just going to get a fitted bilge pump in there. Oh, shouldn't be too hard, just a little. To drill out. Now we're out of lockdown, we've got a chance to start decorating again, so I just wanted to show you a few things that we picked up. So the first thing we got is a blackout roller blind for the bathroom. We got it in black and I think you can cut it to size, so although it won't quite fit our bathroom just yet, we will be able to cut it down and make sure it does fit. So we'll show you how we install that later. As you know, we've been doing a lot in the garden recently and we've really taken an interest in gardening. So we got some 20 centimetre round pots for replanting some of the smaller seedlings that we've put in the garden already. We picked up some more seeds, mainly focusing on herbs this time. So we got grass, which is always a favourite, rocket, 
lettuce, chives, and some sage for banishing the bad spirits. We got a couple of packs of batteries as these always come in handy. I think Dan's already used about half of them. Sorry. So a little surprise, Dan got me and Skylar a flower pot each. So I got the llama, Skylar got the dinosaur, which is quite appropriate. And we got matching wind chimes as well, dinosaur. And it's not a little llama, it's a alpaca. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> that was all from Wilco, but Dan also popped into Sainsbury's that day. He picked up a solar copper wire lights, a set of lights. So these should look quite pretty in the crash area, which is where I think we're going to put them. No, on top of the boat. Do a copper wire. I don't know what else I was expecting. <laughs> wow. I was confused. I was expecting like a copper wire ball that would hang up from the centre of the crash no. cover and hang down like a light bulb. No. That's pretty That's though. Very pretty. Yeah. Um so, Georgia was right, it was going in the cratch cover. My practicality of it going on the roof was not practical. So, what we've got is some um, copper lights up here. Gonna have a couple of little wind chimes in here. Uh, these are some little bumblebee lights that go up around. It turns out our intended bathroom blind was a lot shorter than expected. So instead of cutting it to size, I replaced it with the bedroom blind which was covering the porthole. So we have a bathroom blind for the first time since we moved on the boat almost a year ago. It went up easily. Yeah, the bedroom one, not so much. And just when we thought we'd got it perfect, this happened. So now Dan's fitted it again. I'm gonna quit DIY. We use command strips to attach it to the wall and stop it dangling down. Goes up okay. The down isn't as good as the up. So what I'm doing now is, is the next day and I'm going to take the nappies out. It's actually really bright today. Uh, really bright. So our generator runs on petrol and uh, we've got a can of petrol there. It usually goes into, our, uh, into the front in the gas locker. I kept in there yesterday because I was doing the uh, Victron. So that will go back into the gas locker today. So excitingly, I went to go and take out the board so I can go down and take the nappies out. But actually, something really random happened, and I'll show you actually. So, I was basically just moving my boards like I always do, and this has never happened. I've never actually ever realised. And I assumed that these boards were actually uh, uh, like bolted down, but they're actually not. But uh, So this board here, do you want to move it? 
and it, yeah, it kind of slipped. Oh. And I had of uh, a lot of things on top of it. Uh, my my silly fault for not realizing, but it fell through anyway. And uh, we had to take everything out. Ah, uh, so yeah. So that happened, happened in there. Exhaust. If you put it under, you'll see this. And it's like, yeah, that looks under the exhaust. So this is our engine room setup, which I think is a bit different to what most people might have. As oh. you can see, I'm resting precariously on a metal beam. Even the metal bar. It's actually not fastened down, so it's really. These are things we knew. We knew about the metal, the metal bar, and I knew I had to get that attached down. But I just think we didn't actually get round to, and I have enough time to do in dry dock. Um, so I'm going to get them done. But what I do need to go to do is go and get a jigsaw and some wood because I'm going to go resort all of that out. So now I've been able to get everything out and get that board on there a little bit safely. I mean, I've all sorted out. I'm all sorted. But uh, I'm going to get the nappies out, and they'll go into a bin bag now. I don't really like sending nappies in the bin bag. But we did have some nappies left and stuff, so I'm just going to use them up. And then they're not wasted either. See, it does soak it up. It's very good. we don't like waste and there is still some gunge I'm going to try and position these two which really didn't get touched in places where we still got some gunge so over there and also here and now I'm going to tread them in this is not the position I expected to be getting in in the engine room Thank you for watching and for all of your support as well. Please join us in next week's vlog where Dan tries out his new sander, discovers an access hatch for our water tank and we finally get moving. So like or comment and we'll see you all next week.